Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is AP Physics Essentials, video 108. It's on the Doppler effect. You've maybe heard of that before. It's, it's why a siren, as it approaches you, you'll hear an increase in the pitch, and then it'll actually drop off. But it also could occur if you're moving, and we'll get into that in just a second. So let's say this point here is generating sound waves. They're moving away from that point, and so if you were to listen to them, those sound waves would be hitting you at the same rate, and so it would be a constant pitch. But watch what happens if we move that object from left to right. As it moves from left to right, you can see that the waves in front of it are bunching up. What would that sound like? An increase in pitch. And then behind it, they're actually spreading out. We'd hear a decrease in pitch. You can see the same thing in water waves. This swan we know is swimming from right to left. It's swimming to the left. How do we know that? Well, it's generating water waves, and the ones in front of it, you can see, are getting bunched up, and the ones behind it are actually spreading out. So that tells us it's moving to the left. It also has its beak pointed in that direction as well. Now, it's not only sound and water waves, but light is going to do the same thing. And one of the greatest uh, discoveries ever was Edwin Hubble's discovery that wherever he looked out in space, all light seemed to be shifted to the red. We call that a red shift. What did that mean? All the light that he saw was moving away from us. And that indicated we were living in a universe that is constantly expanding. So Doppler effect has these amazing repercussions. And so waves and their observed frequency will change due to motion. And let's say we've got a source of those waves and then we've got an observer. If the source of the waves is generating waves that move out, they'll be of uniform distribution unless it's moving. So as that source moves, as it approaches the observer, we're going to see an increase in the frequency of those waves. And then as it passes the observer, we'll see a decrease. But it's not only the movement of the source, it could also be the observer. As it approaches the source, it'll hear an increase as it goes towards it, and then it'll actually be a decrease as it moves away. And so let's give me a real example of that. Um, let's say you're standing there and a car is approaching you. The waves as they come towards you will bunch up. And then as it moves away, we're going to hear that kind of drop off. Why does that occur? As those waves come towards you, they're getting bunched together, and so the frequency is increasing, and that's due to the change in the velocity of that object. And so you'll hear increased frequency, and then it'll actually drop off as it passes you. Now we're gonna experience the same thing, however, if we're moving, the observer's moving. So analogy works good for this. Let's say we're generating some waves on the left side, so the waves are moving from left to right. So if you're in a boat, you would feel those waves hitting you. But let's say now that you're moving. So the waves are being produced, but you're moving towards the waves. Since you're moving, you're going to hit them much more quickly. And so we're going to see an increase in the frequency of the waves. Let's say the opposite's occurring. Let's say you're moving with the waves. They're going to hit you at a slower rate. So you would experience a slower frequency, maybe a, a lower sound if we're talking about pitch. Also applies to light. So as the light is moving away from you, all of those wavelengths will actually be stretched out. And that creates light that's going to be simply moving towards the red. If it's approaching you, it'll actually be moving towards the blue. And so this is an example of that red shift that Hubble saw. Since everything was shifted towards the red, everything was moving away from us. And so did you learn to create a wavefront diagram to demonstrate why as a source approaches you, the wave uh, frequency increases. As it moves past you, it goes away. And also why movement of the observer can do the same thing. I hope so, and I hope that was helpful.